mind when uh, cutting your clay is that um, your polymer clay cover should be just a little bit smaller than the actual um, notebook and that is for multiple reasons uh, the most important is that uh, on this side on the left side next to the spine the notebook needs uh, to stay uncovered so it can open properly which is why I suggest you to um, spend some quality time with your notebook, uh, play with it and um, see how it works, see how it looks when it's open and uh, determine how much space it needs uh, next to the spine in order to be able to open properly so you can actually write inside of it because I guess that's the point of a notebook to actually have something, I mean to be able to uh, write or draw inside of it, preferably without uh, damaging the cover right other than that i'm also going to need um, some extra space on all uh, sides of the notebook and that is because i like to add uh, a braided uh, border so basically my notebook will have two borders one that will be placed inside of this polymer clay uh, background that we are cutting right now and the other one will be placed outside of it um, so this is why I need um, enough space on all sides. Moreover, because we need to leave that um, uncovered space uh, on the left side of the notebook, I guess it's more uh, aesthetically pleasing to have the same amount of uh, free space on all sides. Hey Curious Mondo fans, thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out the other videos in the channel for some fabulous tips, techniques, and interviews with artists.